and then you've got all these wires everywhere, so it can be a bit messy, but I think it's really cool because... So if you've been following us on Instagram, you probably know that I was in London a couple of weeks ago, and I was there because I'm studying on the Teaching Musician course at Trinity Love and Conservatoire, and we had four days of seminars. One of the modules this year is uh, Music Education and Technology, and I really enjoyed it. We learned about Scratch, which is like a, a programming language where you can make games and different stuff like that. And then we learned about this thing called a Makey Makey. And I thought it was so cool that I had to go and get one for myself. This is it. Now I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I've made and some of the games that I've made that I'm going to use with my students. This game is to help people to learn the notes of the D major scale and where they are on the stage. So, what I need to do is put this in the USB thing. And then all these wires have to connect to the different notes, and I need to add on a few other wires as well. So now I'm going to clip these wires onto the notes, and hopefully I'll we'll get them tangled up. Okay. So all of these uh, things on the Makey Makey represent different keys on the keyboard. So you've got the arrows up, down, left, right, space bar, and then there's like A, S, D, F, the letters like there underneath here. So then you can make the game on Scratch. Scratch is this like programming language or something made by people from MIT, and it looks like that, and you have all these different blocks that you can choose from, and then you just put them over there and put them in different orders to make things happen. So um, like here where it says um, if the space key is pressed set the note answer to number one so this note which is number one is attached to the yellow wire which is attached to the space key and basically it's like that for all the different ones so I've been thinking about how to use music technology to um, in, in the teaching that I do and how to help kids learn stuff through using technology it's a game to help kids learn to read music, so to make it more fun than just like you've got to remember that this note's on this line and this note's on this space, to make it more interactive and kind of tactile. And there's like the kind of competition thing of how, how much time have you got left, how many points can you get in two minutes and hopefully that makes it more fun. <laughs> Makey Makey is all about um, electrical circuits, so you have to always clip it onto things that conduct electricity, otherwise it's not going to work, so that's why I had to make the notes out of tin foil. And then you've got all these wires everywhere, so it can be a bit messy, but I think it's really cool because you can literally clip it onto anything that conducts electricity so you could make other things into musical instruments. So we had a kind of introduction to Scratch whilst we were there in London and also before we'd been there um, I watched some videos about it and different things um, and then I got the idea for this game and then I came home and I tried to do it and I couldn't make it do what I wanted it to do. I could only make it work for one note at a time and so I was a bit stuck but then I asked um, the guy who's leading that module of the course for some advice and he helped me out with some of the different bits of code thing and then I began to understand it more and then I added in the score and the time and different stuff like that and a game over screen at the end and then I got an idea for another game so I made that one too. The next game that I made is about the length of notes and you know, recognising which note lasts four beats, which note lasts three beats and that kind of thing. I took a background of a kind of schoolish kind of room with a blackboard or something and then there are different people asking questions, which note lasts three beats and then you have to look down here and touch the note that you think lasts three beats and then it works on a similar principle to the other game.
Yeah, so with Scratch you don't have to use the Makey Makey, you can do games that where you just use the mouse to click on things or you press different keys or on the keyboard or whatever, but I think the Makey Makey is fun and it's fun to have something that's away from the computer that you interact with rather than just the computer. So um, next week I'm going to use it for the first time and I'm going to try it with all of my students if I can. So the youngest is 8 and the oldest is 16 or 17. Um, some of them are quite new beginners, others of them have been learning in a couple of years, but it will be good to see everyone's reaction and just to see like if the, if the guys who are a bit more advanced have some ideas of how to make the game more difficult or how to make something that's more suitable for them and hopefully for the ones who are really beginners this will help them get to grips with some of the beginnings of music reading. You can assign sounds to all the keys by just dragging and dropping them onto the picture of the key. So like, oops, so like this. And now it's going to be E if I press that. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, if you like it, like it and subscribe and comment and all that kind of thing. And there's Instagram and Facebook and stuff where you can see what we're doing as well. And remember that together we do adventure.